<sighs> Still too early. I guess I have to go to work first. And then when I come back home, it's time for this beauty. So, see you in a few. Alright, so I just got back home and I'm really, really eager to start off with the machiner. So, uh, what do you say? Should we maybe go into the studio? Uh, so, there we are. Let's punch up some lights. Other oh, machines. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod here so you don't have to uh, keep up with me just holding you in the hands. So, let's see. Maybe something like that, would that work? Uh, like so, focus, less light. I think that's gonna be awesome, all right? Just moving over to the machine. This is gonna be awesome. So I do think I need some tools for this, right? So let's see if I have a knife. I only have a really sharp knife here. Let's just see what's on side of the box here. I do have some specification here. So this is a... Um, it's made for a professional software, so you get a profile generator that I'll show you as soon as we set everything up. Uh, it's made for Cura and Simplify, so each nozzle that you can get inside of this will be configurable for those, so that's pretty cool. It's also open source, which is super nice. Uh, it has a touch pad, but I think it's actually a touch screen, screen pad, I'm not sure how that's, maybe it's translation. It can go down to 50 microns in layer, which is nice. CE and FCC certificates. It's not the China because the circle here is, is perfect. So it's not China exports, but it's a uh, uh, European CE marking. Head, hotbed goes up to 100 degrees, 280 degrees on the print heads, and it supports a bunch of different materials. Uh, PLA, ABS, PLA, HIPS, TPE, TPU, and so much more. And the build volume, if you didn't know already, is 210 by 297 by 210 millimeters. So let's see, let's get this thing open, shall we? So let's start off with just cutting it open and exposing the, uh, the cardboard box. That's some nice unboxing. Uh, there we go. And then we have these ones here. Uh, let's cut that open, there we go. This one, ta-da. You get these, uh, these packaging boxes there. I'm gonna keep them uh, when I return this machine. Are you ready for this? Let me just get the camera in so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. So you see here on the side, uh, we had all the specification here I was talking about. So that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's open this corner. Zoom. All right, we're greeted with some stuff here. Ah, interesting. So we have, in the box, we have some PLA from Color Filler. Let's see, it's a little bit bright for you guys. And next up, some more PLA, uh, Color Filler, Crystal Silver and Arctic White. Looking good. We also get these two uh, guide tubes. It's gonna be awesome. We got some 3D lac. Nice, we get a, uh, a cute, uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it's some sort of dual, dual print, that's neat. And we get the accessory box, which I think have the build plate inside of it. Or actually the build plate is here, below it. Uh, um, let's see, let's see, we have some nylon for cleaning the extruders as well. Power cable, USB cable. Um, and some accessories. These are for the guide tubes. Let's just put all of that here on the side. We get a, uh, what's this? EU warranty and EU, non-EU warranty. That's cool. Let's see my manual. And yeah, and this is the glass bill plate. So there you have the print, the print area. Let's be careful with that. We have a declaration of the, the conformidad. Let's see, what else do we have? Ta-da! That's a machine. Awesome. Let me just put this stuff away so we can uh, unbox it a little bit more easily. Okay, at least some of the stuff is away. I'll try to uh, just put that stuff there. I think I need to pull this down to be able to unbox it, really. Maybe there's like a clausule that you should, should ask a friend or something, but uh, 
No, not today. Wow, it's really light. Here we have it. So that's it. That's the machine. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. You can start to see the IDEX system, the Sigma down here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you here. Let's see. Ah, yeah, it smells, it smells nice. All right, so, so here's what's inside the machine. So far it comes packaged with some protection for the uh, plexiglass, uh, acrylic cover, sorry. Um, these are the connectors for the motor. And we seem to get those without the clips, yeah. So the, the clips here that I was showing you, these here go, the white ones, they go over this one and together with the, with the guide tube. So they both support each other. The guide tube goes down back here and down into the Bowden extruder. Let me just get some light on that. So there you have the Bowden extruder with a pretty strong spring. So that's gonna be awesome. That'll be super awesome. What else is there? Yeah, we have these two containers. So these will actually fill up with plastic when the, uh, the nozzles move over that. So that's gonna be pretty neat. I don't think we have anything more. Let's just check out these here. But no, we get, uh, we get this. So a, a knife, some um, Allen keys, pliers, a screw, uh, what's it called? Screwdriver, SD card, some stickers, which is nice, and some spool holders, which are 3D printed. That's awesome. But yeah, that's what's inside the box. And I think now it's time to, uh, to read the manual, what the next step is. <laughs> All right, so we've then looked at the manual, which I think is next step. Uh, we need to put in some filaments. We need to fix the Bowden tube. So, uh, so let's just do that quickly. Then we also take these white clamps. I believe are, could be printed. Yeah, they were printed. All right, and that's that. All right, so that's that. The cables are put in. You can see the extensions here. These ones here. Whoa, focus. These ones. And we have them at a few places. Awesome. So let's see, what's next? I think it's time to load up some filaments. There we go. Now we're starting first run of the machine. Let's see what the LCD says. Ooh, BCN. Welcome. Do you want to run the setup assistant? All right, so we're gonna click accept. I wanna load some filament. Let's do that. Um. Let's see, in the left, I guess we're gonna run with PLA. Let's do that. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, it, this is actually the issue. Ah, so this moved in shipping, it's interesting. So it moved in this axis, so if I just move this back, now it can move freely. So just make sure that you watch out for that. So the whole, um, the whole X axis or Y or whatever this is, um, this axis here, it got stuck. So as you see here, this edge here can move in front. And that's not really good. So as soon as I take that back, it can move completely in, into the stalker. So it's not this fault, not this fault. It was actually just the axis being too much forward. Interesting, so make sure you watch out for that when you get your printer. But let's continue. Let's, uh, let's do this again. Let's see. Yeah. Cutting a clean piece for loading. The screen now asks me to uh, load a filament until I feel that it stops. So I'm gonna do that. You can probably see it down there, right? It's the little hole that the filament goes into. I'm gonna push it down as far as I can. And then it goes up into the bowden in the back. And now it starts heating. Interesting. Okay, so now we should see filament coming through. Hopefully, coming through here shortly. Shortly, there we see 
So we got some gray filament coming out of the left extruder. Awesome. Let's load up the right one. So success. Printed calibration. Oh yeah, look. So what's it do now? It's calibrating, you know, it's processing, 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 processing. Ah, okay, so it's measuring now and it has actually, on each tool head, it has a um, uh, end stop so it can measure the build plate for each extruder. So make sure that you have a good, um, <laughs> now this is so cool by the way, it looks so awesome. So you just make sure that each um, extruder is leveled because you, you can probably adjust that if you need to. That's really good that it measures both and not just one like normal dual extrusion does. Let's see here, now the screen tells us that we can get some click next to get indication for every level knob. So let's do that. So the first left one should be turned a few degrees. So let's just do that. Like so, accept. And the next one, the same amount. Accept. And that should be it. All right, so um, we're now doing a calibration on the um, extruder here. I'm gonna take forward a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm just pushing in the calibration card here and the nozzle. And then I can, on the screen here, you can see I can move it up and down. So I'm gonna move it up until it's, I feel that the paper is, is uh, getting some friction between the nozzle and the um, paper, like so. And before I click accept, I just wanna show you here as well. I'm gonna just hold down on this, the fingerprint here, and we can see what the printer does. So now click accept. Yeah, it's extruding. All right, so it making makes a few lines here. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know what this is. So it makes a few lines here. There we go. Now the screen asks me to click on which line was the best one. So let me just focus here for you. So you see the printed lines there, and I would say that number. Hmm. I really need to look at this here. Two is probably better. You want them to be a little bit stuck, so I'm gonna say number two is the best one. Let's say that the second line is the best. So now let's calibrate the right one. Okay, now it's time for the x-axis calibration. So let's do that. Calibrate. Adjusting temperatures. Printing a test. So now it starts printing at the rear. Mm, so doing some lines over there. Mm, that's cool. And now with the right extruder coming in, and making like the same lines above that. Now we get to see which one that aligns the fourth is the best one. Choose that. And now we calibrate the Y axis. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's see what happens. Probably did calibrate it a little bit too tight, but that's okay. We can do some manual adjustments. Let's see which one aligns the best here. Mm, yeah, number nine is actually the best one for me here. So success. That's it. We now have a happy printer, and it's time to calibrate. No, it's time to start printing. So let's just uh, let's do that. All right, so with that, I think it's time that we actually generate a profile and start to print on the machine. So let's go over to the computer and go into the profile whoa and it turns out that today uh, there's some issues with this uh, with this here so if you see here that I tried to make a profile for simplify for example with the 0.4 millimeter nozzles that I have and with the color PLA, PLA I do get an error so we have an uh, error in the generator and I saw a tweet about that so that's not uh, wasn't a surprise so that means that I will try one of the onboard uh, prints today and we can then finish off tomorrow with creating our own profiles okay so the Sigma is now printing behind me um, I'm gonna be really tired today so we're gonna end this first day of the Sigma which is more of an unboxing calibration day which is maybe the more boring day so tomorrow it's time for making some uh, making some profiles doing some printing trying out loading filaments and uh, just getting on with some printing. So uh, I need to do a lot of cutting right now and you already seen the clip, so hopefully it was okay, but I think it's gonna be quite long. So I actually have to 
work on talking less, which I'm not doing now, I'm just talking more and more and more. So um, I'm gonna leave you with just a clip from the print that's happening right now. And with that said, hope you um, got to see everything you needed to see to be able to see what's inside the box and stuff. And well, well I'll see you tomorrow hopefully. So uh, enjoy the prints, the video of the prints, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.